Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to configure computer certificate auto enrollment using group policy. We need to have an enterprise root certification authority server before we can configure auto enrollment. If you are unsure about how to install and configure enterprise root CA check out the previous video link to that video is given in the description let's understand the test lab we will be using in this video we have single domain act to directory forest name msftwebcast.com this is a windows server 2022 domain controller srt22 hyphen dc01 let's go to our member server This VM is our Windows Server 2022 member server that has been joined to our Active Directory domain. On this member server, we have set up an Enterprise Root CA in the last video. We have one more Windows 10 client virtual machine to test the result. First, open Certification Authority console if it is not opened yet. To do so, open Server Manager, click on Tools, and select Certification Authority. expand ca name and click certificate templates by default there are few templates available one of them is computer the intended purpose of that computer certificate template is client and server authentication i'm going to use the default computer template for computer certificate auto enrollment you can also create a new computer certificate template using the existing template Modify certificate settings as per requirement and issue the certificate template for computer certificate auto enrollment. Before we are starting to configure certificate auto enrollment, select issued certificates. You will notice that there is no certificate issued by our local CA. Go back to our domain controller VM. Let's configure group policy settings for certificate auto enrollment. To do so, open Server Manager, click on Tools. and select group policy management right click the group policy objects node and select new and a friendly name for the new gpu for example computer certificate auto enrollment click okay to create a gpu the new gpu is added to the group policy objects container let's modify the gpu settings right click on newly created gpu and select add it let me maximize the window In the group policy management editor window, navigate to computer configuration, policies, window settings, security settings and click on public key policies. Double click on certificate services client auto enrollment. On the certificate service client auto enrollment page, change the configuration model from not configured to enabled. Select Renew expired certificates, update pending certificates, and remove revoked certificates. Also, select update certificates that use certificate templates. You can also change the percentage of remaining certificate lifetime before it shows expiry notifications. In this video, we want to keep the default value to ten percent. Click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Now, expand public key policies. and click on automatic certificate request settings right click on it select new and then click on automatic certificate request click next on the certificate template page select computer and then click next make sure setup completed successfully click finish ensure that the computer certificate is visible now close the group policy management editor window We can link this GPU to the targeted OU or at the domain level. In this example, we will link this GPU at our domain level. Right-click on our local domain name and select Link an existing GPU. Select Computer Certificate Auto Enrollment and click OK. Make sure the GPU is linked successfully at domain level. These changes will take effect on client computers after the next sign out, sign in or reboot. To force a group policy update, we can go to the client computer and enter gp updates less force in command prompt or powershell. Let's go to our Windows 10 VM. 
let me unlock this Windows 10 computer. We have already logged in to this Windows 10 computer using our domain administrator's account. Open run menu, type cmd and hit enter key. Type command gp update slash force and hit enter to manually update the group policy settings on this client computer. Let's wait for the group policy settings to update. Group policy has been updated successfully on this client computer. Go back to MMC to check the computer's certificate. Right click in free area and select refresh. Click on certificates. The computer certificate for the machine itself should be in the personal store. Now we can see that the certificate is showing under personal certificate store. This certificate is issued to win10-cli01.msftwebcast.com and it is issued by a local certification authority server. The next step is to verify that our root certificate is present in the trusted root certification authorities store. Expand trusted root certification authorities and click on certificates. Click on CA certificate and verify it. We can confirm that our CA public certificate is present in trusted root certification authorities store. Go back to our CA server. First, click on issued certificates and then click on refresh. Let me maximize the window. The CA server is now showing some certificate issued. Notice the win10-cli01 client has automatically requested our computer certificate template. Double click on computer certificate. From CA server, we can also verify that computer certificate is created successfully in certificate authority. This means a group policy settings for computer certificate auto enrollment is working as configured. That's all for this video on how to configure automatic computer certificate enrollment in Windows 7 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.